What is up guys, this is Alinthio, coming at you with my brand new deck profile of my Madolch deck. As you can see, I have finally the Angelis that I needed for the deck, um, and without further ado, I'll get straight into it. I haven't really played with Madolch um, that much, but I still have played it for, uh, like since they came out. Um, I picked them up ages ago, and they've just been sat in my drawer doing nothing. And I was waiting for the Angelis, and here they are, so we'll get straight into it. It's the brand new card that... Enable so much for this deck to do is the three Angeli. Don't really need to say much about that because the card is just great. And then we have the two Magellan. You know, you've just you search out everything with this. It's just too good, so it's just as I said, too good not to run at three. Then the Hoot Cake. This card is, I think, the best card in the deck. It just allows you to go off so much for such a little cost. And I feel that people who run this at two, I kind of don't really agree with. The, the reason why they actually run it at two, but I just think you want to see this like early, you want to see this soon, and that you want to see it as much as possible. Like, I know you can search them, I know you can recycle them, but the card's just so good. Speaking of which, we have the three of the little kid, and this card at three is just too good. Like, I know a lot of people play it at two, but I don't really. I can kind of understand why, but my personal preference is that I like running it at three because I like to see it in this and the Angeli and Hoot Cake are just oh, the, the plays you can make are just so so good. Uh, then we have the two Messenger Gelato because I feel that like running this at three does get cloggy. You don't want them really in your hand. Uh, you want to special summon them from deck with your um, with your Angeli or with your Hoot Cake, and uh, that's basically the way you want to get your plays off. Uh, then we have the one Pudding Cess. I really like this card in combination with Angeli because you can't die by battle with Angeli and you can just start ramming into things and killing them and making them pop and you know it's just quite a nice removal card so as a tech I quite like it and I can special summon it out uh, with ticket if needs be. Uh, then as standard we have the two fire and two ice hands. Just running these in here because it's level 4 they're just standard good cards and yeah why not. You might lose respect for me for playing them but oh well. Then we have the two Maxis because it works well with Hoot Cake just for fodder in the grave and it's just a generically good card at this moment in time. Then we have the two Chateau and the one Ticket. This ratio is good for me, the two and one, it's just nice. You can search them out, you can recycle them, you can see them when you want. So I really do like running it at two and one. Then we have the two Forbidden Lance just to allow my plays to go off, mainly to let the Tiara Masu play go off. Don't get hit by breakthroughs and all that crap. So um, running it at two has been really nice for me. Then we have the two Mystical Space Typhoon. Just kind of a generic back row that I don't really like. Um, blind MSTing isn't really a thing anymore thanks to artifacts. But once you know the deck isn't playing artifacts, it kind of helps. Then we have the one Book of Moon. Because Book of Moon is a generically good card and it allows you to get off any of your effects that your opponent tries to, for example, Breakthrough or um, Book of Moon. Sorry, Breakthrough or Fiendish Chain. And then the one Double Summon. I only run this at one. It's just nice if you have a little bit of a cloggy hand um, and it just uh, enables you to kind of go off a little bit more. Going on to the traps, we have the two Breakthrough Skill because this card is just good at this format. It just follows things. It's just good, it catches people off guard, a lot of people forget that it's in your grave and you can just banish it to, you know, activate the effect. Then we have the two traps done, this deck can OTK, so being able to have traps done at my disposal is a really nice aspect. The two fiendish chain, I don't like effects, so I want to kind of stop them and make sure they don't go off, so two fiendish chain I also like. The one torrental tribute, because it's just mass removal. Uh, the one Madodge Palooza, because this card on its own can win you games if you have a cloggy hand. You can search it out if needs be, and then just kind of go major pluses on your opponent. The one D Prison, because I rate it over Mirror Force currently, because of the hands. The one Warning, and then finally the one Bottomless Trap Hole, because, again, generically good trap cards. Going on to the extra deck, we have two Queen Tiara Masu. This card's just like one of the best extra deck cards in this deck, and... It just rapes your opponent. The fact it doesn't target and you kind of return your own cards to your hand if you have Chateau out. And you just... Oh, this card just wins games on its own. If you get out to Aramasu and resolve the effect, your opponent can't do anything. It's just... It's just nasty, man. 
Uh, then, because it is kind of a rank 4 deck, we have the standard rank 4s, which is the one Exeter Knight, the one Diamond Direwolf. Um, and Diamond Direwolf is also good because you can use the other Madolch monsters, so that's why it's really important in this deck. The one Emerald, I don't play, play Larval Chain in this one just because I don't really have much room. The one 101, generic removal. Uh, Black Ship of Corn, in case you go up against any of the hands or anything like that. The Dweller for the Mermel and the hands and other things. The Guy Guy Cowboy, because poking for game is nice. Then we have the uh, Fairy King. I quite like this just because it catches a lot of people off guard. All the monsters are, you know, Earths apart from the hands and it just kind of works quite nicely. It's quite unexpected and a lot of people do forget what it does and catch them off guard. The one, um, Invoker, because Invoker gets the deck kind of off the ground um, and gets it completely running to sprinting. The one Alucard, because I have level 3s in the deck. The one Levier, because I banish with Hootcake. So this card is really nice just to kind of round up on some plays that I'm doing. The Mech Equip Engineer, just be in case I can't actually go for game, but I just want to protect myself for next turn. And then finally, the one Wind Up Zen Mains, because it's just... Kind of good, just if you're in a tight situation, putting it there actually does cause a fair few problems for some people. So that is the deck profile, guys. It's only a very quick one, and I hope you did enjoy it. I know a lot of people were asking for this deck profile after they saw the pictures of the three Angelics on Facebook. Uh, let me know what you think of the deck down in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I should catch you guys later.